the American election that just happened uh, with Obama and Romney uh, in many ways confirms the thesis of uh, our, our book, which that is it's hard for democracy to self-correct on the big structural issues, for example, the long-term fiscal deficit. The election is pretty evenly divided, uh, just the way the country was before the election. Obama's margin is slim, 51, 40, 49, more or less across the country, popular vote. Uh, the U.S. Congress uh, uh, is still dominated by Republicans, so we're facing the same kind of gridlock and partisan rancor as before the election. Uh, the U.S. is now facing the fiscal cliff, just as it did before the election. Nothing big structurally has changed. And this demonstrates the difficulty of democracies being able to vote for structural change and the need to develop more consensus building institutions with a long term horizon. Well, gridlock is about paralysis. Paralysis is about the unwillingness to make moves. And um, what uh, most Western democracies need today is. Um, to make some moves in a, in a globalized, much more competitive world and in a world where technology is uh, also uh, changing uh, the relationship uh, between uh, society and its citizens in terms of um, um, what citizens, how citizens will behave and how citizens will uh, be active, meaning work within society. Um, Changes are needed, and uh, and those changes are difficult when you have vested interests that um, really are not capable, are not set up to make changes. So, um, do you have wh what do you have at the end? Do you have a an ability to bridge this. Uh, it was tried with the super committee in the US, which you know brings both parties together, does it in the forum that's not an open forum, and proposes solutions that are frankly uh, a bridge between the two. On the other hand, if you do it in the open, you have a fight, and somebody wins and somebody loses. So it's um, uh, gridlocks. Uh, in democracies generally get resolved uh, through a fight. Uh, a winner and a loser, or winners and losers. The question is, is there a better way of doing uh, some of this? You can't resolve everything in a uh, um, uh, harmonious uh, way, but can you resolve some of it in, in, a, in a less populist uh, way?